Go back to our top story tonight. Health Union Denosa has raised concern over possible poor compliance with the Occupational Health and Safety Act by the Houting Health Department. That's following that fire that we understand is still burning at the Charlotte Matlake Academic Hospital here in Johannesburg. Let's get more on this. Bring in Bongani Mazbuko. He's Denosa's provincial secretary here in Houting. Bongani, good to have your time. So what about the fire at Charlotte Matlake? has you wondering if there is poor compliance with health and safety standards? Uh, good evening and thank you for having us. Well, <clears throat> we have received reports that uh, there were challenges with uh, the fire uh, extinguishing gadgets and things like that. And that in itself gives us the impression that uh, the lack of occupational health and safety standards and compliance thereof within the department could have been a problem. And we are aware that the cause of the fire is still being investigated and we are looking forward to hearing what uh, could have been the cause. And, of course, some would say you're quite well within your rights to question uh, possible non-compliance because, remember, the, there was the Lisbon building fire as well where we were dealing with government buildings that, in fact, were found to have issues with faulty lifts, um, hydrants that mm -hmm. don't work in case of a fire. In the past, have you as a labor union received complaints from your members at Charlotte Matlake specifically about concerns of that nature? In the past, yes, there have been complaints of... Uh occupational health and safety uh, issues. It was not at the hospital itself, but it was at the, nest, at the residence at the time. And that has since been uh, attended to. But the occupational and health uh, compliance within the Department of Health is an issue because up to now, the, even with, when, when COVID started, there had to be an interim committee that is put in place to address the occupational health and safety issues. So now that tells you that there is no proper uh, occupational health and safety compliance within the Department of Health. And you've also had the fire that took place in Caltonville. We're not sure what happened even there. So it's more than one incident that uh, informs us, that forces us to actually say to the department, take a long, hard look within, particularly on issues that, come, uh, that, that are pertaining to occupational health and safety. You've also drawn a comparison in your statement today with the fact that these two fires, both in Coltonville and now at Charlotte McLeague, were in uh, storeroom facilities where PPE and other equipment is stored, and you're saying you're hoping that it's just a coincidence. Well, that is our hope. Uh, we can only but hope. It's, um, it's disturbing, to say the least, uh, to, say the, uh, to find that you've got uh, two different institutions and there are fires uh, where there's PPE and uh, store, at the stores department. It's a concern. Now, we, we hope that it is just a coincidence, but we really need to hear that uh, report from the investigation so that we can be able to shed more light and then we can be able to give it an informed uh, perspective on this. Given your concerns, then, are you likely at this point as Denosa to perhaps begin your own sort of investigation where you speak to workers and assess some of the documentation that relates to health and safety if you are even allowed access to that sort of material? Because I know labor is involved often in issues to do with health and safety in the workplace. Well, we would trust the department to do the right thing. We know that uh, currently there is a process that is underway, and we would trust that process uh, because in the past the department has been transparent on issues even where they have been found wanting. So at least we can be able to say that uh, when such a process under, uh, gets underway, we would be able to trust the outcomes thereof. Apart from the fire itself and the building at Charlotte Matlake, you are also monitoring, I understand, the issue of where your members, who are the nurses at the hospital, are placed now that they're being relocated for at least seven days. What to you would be a fair and proper redistribution of staff during this emergency period? Well, you cannot have someone who's, care, who's saying, uh, let's give or take in Soweto, who's working in Sherrod McLeod and then being expected to report to Steve Biko or Tswane District Hospital without being assisted with uh, transport and things like that. Because that means then that person has to travel a longer time, a commute even longer, and then uh, that is an inconvenience that is uncalled for. And we are currently in a meeting with the management and the other stakeholders of the department trying to hear uh, what is their plan pertaining to that and uh, just to iron out those issues as well, to make sure that we're all on board and to make sure that our members are not, as you said, our members are not disadvantaged uh, in this. Bongani Masibu, Denosa Provincial Secretary in Gauteng, good to speak to you tonight, sir. Thank you for your time.